Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to First Congregational Church of St. Albans. Uh, First Congregational Church is an open and affirming member of the United Church of Christ. Uh, we are a welcoming community of believers, seekers, and doubters. And uh, please note that wherever you are on your, on your life's journey, you are welcome here to travel with us. I'm Sandy Christman today, and I'm filling in for Jessica, uh, who's a little bit under the weather, and she didn't want to expose anybody to uh, her illness, uh, so, uh, so you get me. Erin <laughs> uh, is also out today. Uh, she's awaiting the test results for one of her children uh, again, so, um, so I guess best results on those test results. And uh, Stefan is uh, out of town today. So, so we're going to have a little ad lib ceremony, <laughs> our worship service today. So let's get ready. So, do we have any announcements today? Yeah, just Sue. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that was Sue saying that the Ladies Fellowship Breakfast is going to be on the 11th of December at 9 a.m. at the Maple City Diner. Okay. Um, so I guess I usually get up and uh, do our... Oh, go ahead. Um, we're a little short on people to be doing the video for the next year. Uh, I stepped down from running it. I will still do it. But we need extra people to learn it, and uh, so we have video every week. So uh, you can come and see me when I'm here, and uh, or let Jessica know with a name, and we'll get you trained. Not a problem. Thank you. Okay, and that was Lane um, asking for video volunteers to video for the service. And uh, if you volunteer, he will train you. Uh, I hear that the training is very simple and easy to do. Uh, so just go ahead and get with Lane or Jessica on volunteering for helping us out with the service. Uh, any other announcements for anyone else? Okay, so I'll do my usual announcements here. Uh, we have a special note of gratitude uh, for all the people that came to decorate for uh, our last Sunday, or I guess it was last Saturday, not this past Saturday, but we had uh, myself, Mary, Jenny, Park, Greg, Sue, Judy, Wayne, uh, Tim, Rita, Gerard, Paula, Joanne, and Alice. Uh, we thought maybe we had one of the largest uh, crowds ever to help decorate, so thank you for decorating our sanctuary, uh, sprucing up the garland, and um, thank you so much. It was really appreciated. It, it uh, went by really quickly. Um, so another announcement, so we have the cookie sale coming up for the Festival of Trees on December 4th. Uh, we are going to be running the cookie sale at City Hall for the Festival of Trees. We do have a sign-up sheet in the back. For, uh, we are looking for volunteers to do a two-hour shift uh, to be there to actually sell the cookies. We are looking for volunteers to bake cookies as well. As of this point, we have a freezer full of cookies back here in, in the church of people who have already cooked, uh, baked cookies. Uh, we're still looking for more people to bake cookies, and I think Jessica was asking that if you could drop them off by Friday at noon, um, we'll have them all ready to go for Saturday. Uh, we are still looking for some volunteers to help sell them. Okay, and next Sunday is our Communion Sunday, and our donation of the month is going to be Voices Against Violence in Lori's house. And in our bulletin, we have this really long list of items that they can use. Pretty much anything you can pick up at Walmart, they can probably use. So uh, if you want to pick up anything at the grocery store or Walmart, and we'll have a box up here ready for donations next Sunday for, uh, for Lori's house and for Voices Against Violence for our, annual, uh, for our monthly donation. Ah, 
and our, lastly, we're getting down to our last couple weeks of the mitten tree. I uh, just wanted to share with you. I went over to Joanne's to pick up some to pick up some yarn, and I found some yarn that was already shaped like mittens, and I thought that was a wonderful bargain because some people, you know, don't have a lot of time to knit or crochet. So picking up yarn that was already shaped like a mitten really worked out for me this year. So um, Joanne's, two dollars mittens, you know, that that worked out great. <laughs> Just a little little note on that. Um, and so we did get a couple more donations. Um, I did make a couple hats last year. I'm a lot better at hats than I am at mittens. I haven't quite gotten the finger things down yet. Okay, so um, this, do we have anything else? I, I think that was it for our announcements. So let's go ahead and get started with our service. Uh, our, let's start with our morning prayer today. Creating and sustaining God in your presence, there is life. Living water springs up, and deserts blossom where you pass. Seeking the life that comes from you, we have gathered before you. Our hearts are ready, O God. Delight us with your presence, and prepare us for your service in the world. Amen. Okay. Okay. So the choir is going to sing for the opening hymn, hymn 119. You can follow along if you'd like to, but just the choir is going to sing. Okay. so much for uh, giving us that uh, verse here with, uh, without having a lot of practice this Sunday. I'd now like to invite Gerard and Rita Sparasana up to do our lighting of the Advent wreath. And we do have an insert, if we can all follow along. When the world seems scary, when we try to escape and hide, the Holy invites us to confront fear, that we might find hope. Where in the world do we find hope these days?
I'd now like us to join in the prayer of confession in unison. This has been a year of disquiet and suffering, O oh God. We live in a world that worships money and brute force, sowing the seeds of fear and hatred. At times, we get caught up in this and forget to share your love with everyone. Holy One, shine your face upon us. Restore us to you and the eternal hope only you can bring. Amen. And a moment for personal reflection. I'd like to give a, a moment to pass the uh, peace uh, amongst each other, a small little group here. So I'm just going to put my mask back on so we can go around. And uh, no handshaking or touching. We can just do an elbow bump or just uh, peace be with you. Um, but and we can say hi to the choir so they don't have to come down. That can be optional for them, <laughs> okay? I, I do have a little something uh, for uh, the children's sermon. I did forget to bring the mic with me, so I'm just going to try to talk loudly down here. But I did bring a little, like a little Black Friday gift for those who want to participate today, okay? <laughs> Okay. Same thing. Peace, peace. World 
To bring God back into the church. To bring God back into the church. I know, I, I have a lot of, of hope out there that, you know, I just hope things get better for all of us, uh, that, that we have Jesus in this place. I hope that all of us are here worshiping together, that we're all a part of one big family, and that I see you guys all here each Sunday, and I can't wait for Christmas and to see all of you guys here for Christmas. That is my hope. And uh, would you like to do the reading now? Good morning. Good morning. This morning's scripture reading is Luke chapter 21, verses 25 through 36. There will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and on the earth distress among nations, confused by the, by the roaring of the seas and the waves. People will faint from fear and forbidden of what is coming upon the world, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now then, these things begin to take place. Stand up and raise your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. Then he told them a parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. As soon as they sprout leaves, you can see them for yourselves, and for the summer is already near. So also, when you see things taking place, you'll know that the kingdom of God is near. Truly I say you, this generation will not pass away until all things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Be on guard so that your hearts will not weigh down with displeasure and drunkenness and the worries of this life. And for the day does not catch you unexpectedly, like a trap, for it will come upon all who live on the face of the whole earth. Be alert at all times, praying that you may have the strength to escape all these things that will take place and to stand before the Son of Man. Here lies this morning's reading. May God add blessing to our understanding of these words. This morning, uh, instead of a sermon, uh, we thought that we would have the choir sing a couple verses of Christmas carols that they put together quite quickly this morning. Do you want to go ahead and sing for us?
Thank you so much for that. Um, they just put that together this morning. Uh, with, uh, like all of us, we were kind of hit quite suddenly with the absences. So let's uh, share our joys and concerns now. Does anybody here have anything they want to share? about any joys or concerns for this week? We have a story in our family where we have always cut our own Christmas tree, no matter where we live, from Chicago, Illinois, to Kansas City, back to Vermont, Massachusetts. We've always found a tree for us, and that's a joy for us, something that we look forward to with family. And today, today. <laughs> so, so you're going out today to do that? Oh, all right. That's, that sounds wonderful, like a great family event. <laughs> uh, anyone else? Oh, go ahead. Joy to be together in this sanctuary. Uh, this is probably one of the more beautiful places you can be right now. With the sun shining in these beautiful stained glass windows. And I'm just very grateful for that. Amen. Amen. It, it has been kind of a dreary week, and it is really nice to see the sun coming in today. Thank you, Park. Uh, any other joys and concerns? Well, then, let, um, oh, go ahead. Yes. Great, yeah. Thank you for, uh, Gerard's mentions, thank you for family um, and Thanksgiving with family and that Jessica feels better soon. Okay, anything else? Or? Okay, let's go ahead and pray. pray. Gracious God, wonderful creator, we give thanks today that we are able to meet in your presence. We come to you in prayer to offer you our hopes and dreams and desires and our concerns for our community and our loved ones. Today, we continue to pray for everyone affected by the coronavirus and for our pastor, Jessica, to recover from her cold. And also prayers for Aaron's family that everyone is, self, is safe. We give joy today that uh, Ray and Sue are able to go out with their family and enjoy cutting a Christmas tree together. Um, it probably has been a while since we've all been able to do things as a family together. And uh, we also give thanks that we are all, all able to join together today in the sanctuary on this beautiful Sunday morning as well. And we give thanks that many family groups were able to meet this Thanksgiving and share with you for uh, give thanks to the Lord. And thank you for all of your abundance as well. We wanna pray for everyone who's also affected by the virus and who are in isolation, including Flossie, Mary, and Edith. And and especially for Edith in the choices that she's chosen for uh, her life right now and to give her hope for the future. Lord, all of us are dealing with our environments right now and we just ask that you help all of us out here in, in our community and help each other out and that we can keep everybody fed here um, and work together as a community. And that next Sunday that we can all help contribute to other members in our community for our communion Sunday with donations.
Thank you, Lord, for all of these things that we ask you for. And I want to close in our Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Do we have a final um, thing? Okay. Thank everyone here today, especially our choir who helped uh, sing everything a cappella, <laughs> and uh, Mara who led them. And um, just a closing benediction. As we go out this week, remember to pause briefly and listen for the footsteps that are the hope that we have in Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs>